right back with a chest workout. I'm gonna keep some of these clips raw. We were talking through a bunch of them, so kind of get inside the heads of both Eli and I during my chest workout. Yeah. It's like it's gotta be like not improv, but. So today we did this exercise, which is just a chest press, but on this cable machine. I really like the range of motion on this because it comes out when you kind of come in, converge at the top, and get that nice huh? squeeze. Slimming, right? cool. Never used that machine before, but it was definitely good, and it made a huge difference when you put your feet up there as far as the weight that you can move. When your feet were down, you didn't have very much stabilization, and of course it was going to hit the chest more put more tension on the chest, but you wouldn't be able to use as much weight as if you put your feet up there. So that was definitely a game changer. It's all right here. All right here. Huh? Exactly what were we on last doing. time? Last time, yeah. two, two up. Oh, so it's not that much more? Yeah, two up. Just trying to figure out what weight I was supposed to be doing for that set. You can see here I'm shaking a little bit, and that's just instability because the cables have a free range of motion and the little stabilizer muscles are waking up. Mm -hmm. That was the first set that I put my feet up and I said I feel like you can move the world when you do that. It's a big difference when you put your feet up. You can do the first couple sets with your feet down but when you start going real heavy, put your feet up. Here's the last set for both of us. We did a drop set on the last one. It should have been really heavy for the first few reps. And then once we got to failure there, or pretty much failure, dropped the weight. So shoulders back. Burns out. Telling him here to keep the shoulders back. He's not activating the chest as much as he would if he were keeping his scapula retracted. But obviously, as the weight gets heavy, we drop try set. and compensate. Huh? Drop set. Take orders. So here's the drop shit. You can see I think you did about 10 reps on the first one. And I was just dropping it about 20%, 15 to 20% and then finish it up with about another 10. Crazy pump on that one. Really good workouts. You can see here, keeping my traps down and back. Shoulders down and back and really squeezing through the chest. If I start to feel like my shoulders are coming forward, I know I'm not putting tension on my chest and that's when I know I'm going too heavy and drop the weight. You can see here, really feeling it. Come on. What'd you drop to? 10. What? Yeah, that. We're on the same page. <laughs> and then just dropping it even that little makes a huge difference. I'm able to pump out a whole bunch of more reps. So if you don't use drop sets, definitely do it. It's where you progressively overload your body to the point where you can do heavy weights to failure and then drop it a little bit lighter and then keep oh, going now, right? so you can yeah. push through a plateau. So from that exercise, we moved on to flat bench. Didn't go crazy heavy. Only went up to 205 pounds today. Just focusing on the contraction of the muscle. And there was some weird stuff going on at the gym. This guy was yelling and screaming, which you'll hear in a couple of sets. And it just it was hard to concentrate. I apologize if you're wearing headphones and you listen to this because you will definitely be able to hear it. I think it's in the next set that I do. So they're 135 to 15. Then we bumped it up to 185, I believe. This is still 135, actually. We're already warmed up, so we didn't need to start with the bar or 25 pounds. Just went to the right, right, went right into the first working set, which was 135 pounds. Then 185, and then 205. Then we did 185 and dropped it to 135 for the last set. So here's 185. Incredibly humid in the gym, the windows were open, and it just rained. Let's go. I felt like I was going to slip off the bar, so that limited my strength here today. Normally I can get 185 to 10. 
Okay. You can see here, he controls the negative a little bit more than I do. And I was truthfully just trying to pump through the reps because that first exercise really wore me out. But keeping in good form, his elbows are out slightly. I keep mine a little more tucked in, more of a powerlifting style. He's more of the bodybuilding style. To each his own, it really just depends what you're trying to do and what feels good for you. Of wisdom. Yeah, make sure you're not listening to slow jams. By slow jams, I, I listen to hardcore music when I work out, and I think it was just an acoustic version. So pretty quiet, pretty slow, but I had to change it to something heavier. I don't always listen to music when I lift. Let's go. But he had headphones this day. I had my headphones, I had them charged, which is the biggest thing. Sometimes I forget to charge them because I don't have power. But 185. Or 205. I got it for five. He filmed three reps and then spotted me on two. So here's his set for yeah, 205. Back, can't see This is my drop set to 185, but this is what I'm talking about in the background. Just listen to this. This is every single set that this guy does. Let's go. I think he had 365 pounds in the bar. He was not doing reps. His spotter was definitely rowing the weight. And then in turn, when he was spotting him, he actually had wrist wraps on the bar and was literally deadlifting the weight off of this guy. So just be smart when you train. Don't train outside your means. Obviously push yourself because that's the only way you progress. But be smart. There's no need to be pressing 365 if you're going to sound like that and you can't do the reps yourself. So that was the drop set to 135 for me. And here is Eli's. Drop set. You can see 185 on the bar. Going to failure or close to failure, and then immediately dropping to 135 and finishing out. You can see here he's doing close to three second negatives on the way down, and this is very difficult, very taxing on the chest, which you'll see in a second when he drops to 135. Even though it's not a ton of weight. He's very fatigued and can't get as many reps. So here, put the camera down and make sure I spot him so he can get his reps in. And then you can see immediately drop to 135. This is definitely taxed. This is the compound movement of the day for chest. It's like technical difficulties with the Which way? Uh, I got it. I was going the wrong exposure. way. But here we did a low incline dumbbell press, single arm. I've done these alternating where you have two dumbbells and you go up and you only move one arm at a time. I've also done them this way. I haven't trained them in a while, but this actually incorporates your obliques into the movement because you need to stabilize yourself because you don't have one weight on one side and no weight on the other side and it's going to start to pull you off the bench. So you have to engage your core, engage your obliques in order to keep yourself on the bench, keep yourself from falling off. Ah, oh, jeez. Change the shutter speed. I don't know if you noticed in the last clip, but it looked a little blurry. That's because the shutter speed is down to 80. Normally I have it at 125 for anyone who shoots 
video. I shoot it 60 frames per second, so what you want to do with the shutter speed is double it, and because I don't have 120, I have to go to 125. So if you go slower than that, you start to see motion blur, and that's not ideal when filming. So make sure you keep it at 125 when filming. Second set of these single arm inclined chest press. So the way we did this workout, the first, well, first of all, we did whatever was open because it was really busy. Here, I can't put my headphones in my ear. First exercise we did was slightly more decline. It was still a flat movement, but with the way that the cables were coming across, you can kind of see we were arched a little bit and getting more of the decline movement. So we did that, and then we went into a flat movement, which was obviously flat barbell bench press, and then this for the upper chest, which was single arm dumbbell press. Now, we were obviously targeting the upper chest on our first exercise, not because of how the hands were coming across the chest, but because of the stretch that we were getting in the shoulders. Oh, battery's going to die your pec minor or the upper part of your chest inserts underneath the shoulder. So whenever you get a really good stretch on that and come across, you're going to be targeting that part. So I really hit the entire chest in that first exercise, opened everything up, got the blood flowing, and then we moved on the flat bench from there. Didn't go super heavy on this exercise. The last set was 45 pounds for both of us. And Obviously, we can handle more weight for a chest press, but the single arm is going to start to pull you off the bench, and especially if you're fatigued, it's hard to do a lot of weight on this exercise. So, again, don't overdo it. Don't try and kill yourself. Just make sure you can get that next contraction. And this guy is still yelling in the background. Mm -hmm. So here's my last set. You can see I'm keeping my hand by my chest so I can feel the contraction, make sure I'm getting a nice squeeze. From there, moved on to triceps. Only did two movements for triceps. We did this close grip tricep extension, and then we did an overhead rope extension. So targeting the lateral head of the tricep. I will. With the close grip extension, and then the medial head of the tricep with the overhead extension. So short head, long head. You can see here I do a slight variation where I'm pushing out more in front of me. Keep a little bit more tension on the triceps, just for the first step. That was a great workout today short and sweet. The gym was packed. It was impossible to find anything to do. <laughs> Jeez. But sometimes when you adapt to workouts, don't come in with a plan and just figure it out when you're in there. You have some of the best workouts. So yes, it is good to follow a plan. Keep yourself accountable. Keep goals in mind and everything. But you don't always need to go in knowing, I'm going to do this exercise first, this exercise second, this exercise third. This many reps, that many reps, this much weight. Sometimes it's good to, once you get there, feel it up. See how you're feeling. See what you're capable of that day. Because you, know, you could have 225 for five reps or something down. And then you could actually have it for seven. And if you don't do those two extra reps, you're missing out. So don't always limit yourself to what's down on paper. See here, I was working on the negatives and then pumped it out a little bit. Nice and full on the triceps. I believe this was his last set of these close grip extensions. His triceps have always been ridiculous. Mine are a lagging body part of mine. 
My biceps are bigger than my triceps when it's supposed to be the other way around. Biceps are obviously two muscles, triceps are three. And the triceps should always be bigger than the biceps, so it's just the way I trained previously. I did a lot of pull-ups when I first started working out, so that was all I could do. And then I couldn't do pull-ups when I first started working out, but once I could, that's what I focused on a lot. Pull-ups, deadlifts. And that developed my biceps and back. That's what I said to you. Did you make the team coach? Yeah. That's where I got it actually. What? That was like the but day. For some after reason that. my triceps have never really, really yeah. caught up to my biceps. And they seem like they are right now, but that's just because I have a pump in them. But once I get a pump in my Let's biceps, go. it just takes over. Let's go. So he thought I was struggling, but I was just controlling the negative. And then obviously the weight kicked in and got heavy. So. It's controlling me. Oops, <laughs> nope, just one side. The last exercise of the day. Overhead extension. I went way too heavy on the first set and struggling through it. And I ended up going way too light on the second set and third set. But very fatigued from the workout. All in all, it was a great one. It's always good to work out with Eli. I see more workouts with him. A good training partner. He really pushes me. I push him. Learn a lot. You're out. You're not. He in. learns from me. I learn from him. It's just good to have a solid workout partner. So, great workout today. Chest and triceps. I'll put the workout in the description with the sets and the reps that we did. I won't put the weights because my weights are going to be different from your weights. Your weights are going to be different from my weights. If you're new to the channel, I post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday new videos, mostly exercise related. So feel free to subscribe to stay up to date. Make sure you leave a comment below asking me a question to answer in my next car segment. This guy should just be home. I don't know what it is about to do. His brother showed up. There were some characters there to me. No, not filming your calves. <laughs> it's a terrible angle. So I'm just gonna let these last couple of clips play out. But hope you enjoyed the workout. It's definitely a good one. If you don't have the machine that we used first. You can do the same sort of thing on just the cable crossover or a standing cable machine. Just make sure you don't go too heavy so that you can really focus on the contraction of the chest as opposed to using momentum to get the weight down. Stay nice and upright. Make sure you're squeezing across the chest, get a nice stretch on the way back, get that full contraction. Flat bench. Everyone's got a flat bench. No big deal there. And then the incline bench is a really good exercise too. That can be done with dumbbells or cables, but we did it with dumbbells today. And then obviously triceps. You can switch it out for any variation of triceps you want. One press down motion and one full over motion, so you're hitting all heads with the triceps. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one.